Hello you beautiful peeps, my name is John, welcome to my channel. Today we've got the Laralo AK917 and it's supposed to be a speed monster but it has a tendency of lifting up at the front and in some videos I've seen actually flipping up and off into the wilderness. In my case the wheels looks like they've just lifted off the ground, we've lost traction at the front and it's gone into a barrier. So I was speaking to a friend that uh, did a little bit of fluid dynamics, etc. He said lots of stuff to me that I didn't understand at all. But what he did say was to add a couple of winglets at the front could potentially help. He also gave me another tip, uh, which was about the suspension to stop it bottoming out. And I'll show you that on the next video. Now, I really shouldn't be showing you this because we're in competition now. If you own the car and you're doing the competition for the speed run, we are direct competitors but I also don't want any of you to damage your cars for it to go off and crash out like mine did. So I'm gonna share my secrets and also the advice of several other people uh, concerning this car in the comments. Basically just uh, explaining a few tips and tricks to hopefully stop it crashing so much. One of them being the gyro, but if you saw my last video about me apologizing to Larlo, uh, you know, that isn't always the case where you get a better reception, but that, that's down to the location. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the front wings, as I said, that are made out of bottles. Because I thought, are we all really going to go out and buy wings for the front of our cars? Well, I didn't want to. So I thought, what is around the world in plentiful amounts? That we could all get our hands on. Now you can use the larger bottles, the problem is that the wings are therefore larger and you don't really want that much at the front. According to what I've been told, you need a little wing just enough to keep it down. And what's great with these is, as you saw, all you do is cut a triangle, but once, if you fold it back over itself, it actually keeps its shape because of the curve of the bottle. So now if you imagine that that's mounted on the side of a car, if I do it that way so you can see, on the side of a car, the wind's coming along like this and it's actually being held, as you see, by its own curvature. And I love that, I truly do. That was a really bad line. Let me show you how easy it is to do this. I literally just did it again because I'm like, well, I wanna show you guys the easiest way to do it. And, and it took literally seconds. Was that the one? Yeah, literally, cut around, blah, blah, blah. Let me show you. So, get yourself a bottle along the line here. So when the bottle goes like that, you, you're sort of aiming for there. So let's just do that and see if we can get as straight a line as possible. He says, making it very weavy. Nice one, John. Expert. So, now you have your little top, like that. What do you do? Well, in my case, I got some super duper scissors, but that was only because I've got these to cut the, the body shells for painting. So, sort of envisage a, I can actually draw this for you, a small triangle-ish. So like that, straight down, but you need a bit of a flat edge along there. So like that, roughly like that. It doesn't have to be exact, it can be whatever, but remember you need two pretty identical. So if you've got one bottle, leave enough room for the second one. Roughly the same shape on both of them, because if there's any size difference, etc., you're gonna have more grip or more downforce on one side than the other. Dun, dun. Right, where are we? Nice. So, get your scissors in and roughly cut along uh, like so. So, now you can tidy it up, but you can see the shape that I have there. It's pretty good. It's not great, it's pretty good. So, I'm just gonna straighten it up a little bit. And this edge, I'm actually going to do pretty straight, like so. So, there you go, nice and simple. Do not bend it this way. As I said, you want to bend it the other way so that you're getting the, the curvature of the bottle is gonna help hold the shape. So bend it like so, 
there you go, ladies and gents, you have your wing. And when you mount it on the side of the car, it kind of reinforces that as well. It's very, very cool. So let me show you how I mounted it upon my car. I painted it, painted it. I used a permanent marker on that just so it was easier to see. I actually just had them clear. So that's how they look on the car. And how I mounted them was, Sorry about that. I have two holes. So I basically held that like that, drilled the two holes, put the bolts through. And on the other side, I have got locking nuts on them, as you can see. And I've got a washer on that side and on this side, just to give it some strength, obviously. Now, if you see on mine, the washer itself, I actually got a slightly larger one than on the inside because I wanted the washer to be pushing up on that edge there as much as I could to help it. Let me just show you what it looks like. Oh, I do have uh, some pictures. I think I'll have to show you the pictures now because it's not focusing very well. So as you can see, it's you know, a nice little winglet. Now what I did do, uh, I'll show you the one that we just cut. Um, when it was mounted in, in position, so if you imagine that this is mounted like so, I bent down this edge here like get some pliers get your edge like so and just bend it down so you've got a little edge on there just so that it grabs the air nice and proper and as you can see on the pictures once again that i've got that little bit there just to enable that to happen now, if you're finding that it's got too much grip at the front, then all you need to do is just drill a couple more holes and move it down. Or you want more, move it upwards. Very simple indeed. And a very, very logical thing to do by using the old bottles. You know, cost us all, I mean, in my case, cost me 10 cents because these bottles, uh, I can get the money back on them, but. So I've used 30 cents on a set of wings and I can do a lot more with these projects. Now, let me just give you the size of the nuts and bolts while you're there. So just bear with me, because I know that somebody's gonna ask for them. Today, you should think about subscribing to Colin and John's RC YouTube channel. So, we will start with the actual bolt that I, I mean, you can use whatever size you've got at home, really, for this part, but I'll give you the measurements I've got, 2.8 millimeters, 0 0.10 inches, and the length that I chose was 7.2 millimeter, oh, okay. Point two eight of an inch. Now, obviously, it doesn't matter what uh, nut, locking note that you use, it has to obviously attach to that. So, the washer for the outside is 8.8 .8 millimeters, which is 0.34 of an inch, and the inner diameter is 0.42 millimeters and 0.16 of an inch and it is 0 0.07 millimeters. Again, it doesn't really matter what you're using to mount it, 0 0.8, 0 0.03 of an inch. And then the smaller one for the inside, again, if you wanna use two of the, set, the larger ones for the outside, that's entirely up to you. We have 6.7 millimeters, which is 0.26 of an inch and the inner diameter is 0.33, which is 0.13 of an inch. And then the thickness is 0.03 millimeters, which is 0.01 of an inch. And ladies and gents, that simple. Now I have tested this, but I couldn't test it at over 120 kilometers an hour, which it seems to be the number that we're having issues with uh, things crashing out. But I've been, the information I've been given by my friend is that it's going to help. 
maybe a little bit too much so you may have to trim the wings down but just trial and error you know see which one works best for you uh, one other thing i do have the suspension that i'll talk about on the next video because this video will just be far too long but one thing that was also mentioned by again you beautiful peeps in the comments my apologies for not remembering everybody that has uh, given me tips and comments they were long uh, large comments and several people said the same thing so my apologies, but thank you so much. Uh, just take this one screw off here, in my case. Uh, uh, uh. And I will, you see the difference in them? The new length, same width, the new length is, I'll show you why I'm doing this in a minute. Seems silly me not telling you right away, doesn't it? It's because I'm adding a weight to the front, 0 0.84 inches and 21.4 millimeters. Because I have some weights from the F1 project. So put it on, put it in, and screw it down. Now I've got a little bit of extra weight at the front as well. I really do believe that the winglets will be enough, but this can easily be taken off while we're there. So please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please hit like on the video because it all helps uh, this channel and come back for the next video on this car because as I said, it will be figuring out how to stop it uh, bottoming out. So help with the ground effect. Have a great day, stay safe. Bye-bye.